Welcome. I'm Doug Fullington, assistant to Peter Bull and audience education manager at Pacific Northwest Ballet, and we're pleased to offer you this dress rehearsal film of George Balanchine's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Midsummer was Balanchine's first original full-length ballet that he choreographed for the New York City Ballet in 1962. He was very familiar with Shakespeare's classic play of magic and mismatched love. As a student in his hometown of St. Petersburg, he had performed in a production, and he said he knew Shakespeare's play better in Russian than he, he did in English. He intended Midsummer to show off his entire company. The cast includes 14 leading roles and many parts for the rest of the company and also the students of his school. Balanchine knew the importance of including students in productions and included them in his full-length works that he created. He knew the magic of the performance experience for young people studying ballet, and it was his experience on stage as a child that convinced him to dedicate his life to a career in ballet, and aren't we glad that he did. For his score, Balanchine turned to Felix Mendelssohn's classic incidental music or music written for a production of the play, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And to round that out to create the entire production, he looked to Mendelssohn's other works, to overtures and to symphonies, and he drew from those. In some cases, Balanchine needed to create his own piano rehearsal score from these works, and he wrote those out himself. And in fact, we use copies of those same arrangements in Balanchine's hand today at Pacific Northwest Ballet. It's one of the many ways that we stay connected to Balanchine and the heritage that he gave us in ballet and in music. PNB has a long history with A Midsummer Night's Dream as well. We first performed the Balanchine production in 1985, 35 years ago, and in Francia Russell's wonderful staging, it has stayed in the repertory ever since. In 1997, Francia, along with Kent Stoll, petitioned the George Balanchine Trust for permission to redesign the scenery and the costumes for the production. The Trust agreed and this production marked the first time that a Balanchine full-length ballet had been redesigned since Mr. Balanchine's death in 1983. They commissioned Martin Pacladinas to design the costumes, but Marty also asked could he design the scenery as well, making the good argument that having the scenery and costumes designed by the same artist would give continuity to the look of the entire production. Kant and Francia agreed, and altogether they agreed that it would be the flora and fauna of the Pacific Northwest that inspired the look of the designs. And so Pacific Northwest Ballet ended up with a Midsummer Night's Dream that was truly a Northwest production. And this production gathered a lot of attention and led to PNB taking the production on the road, in fact, around the world. That began in August of 1998, when we took Midsummer to the Edinburgh International Arts Festival in Scotland. From there, we traveled to London the following February in 1999 and performed at the newly renovated Sadler's Wells Theatre, where the BBC recorded the production in high definition for award-winning DVD release. I had the pleasure of being on that trip and supervising the many young students of PMB school that came along to perform the roles of bugs in Oberon's kingdom. Great memories. Trips to Istanbul and Hong Kong followed in the year 2000, and in 2002, a performance at the Hollywood Bowl of a shortened version of Midsummer on a program that also featured Julie Andrews. Midsummer remains a signature work for Pacific Northwest Ballet, and it returns to the repertory every three, four, or five seasons, and we all look forward to it. Like Nutcracker, it's a work where dancers grow up through the roles. They might start out even as bugs in Oberon's kingdom, but definitely as Hippolytus hounds or in the court in Act Two. And they move up through the various roles and look forward to eventually performing many of the wonderful leading roles. We have Titania and Oberon and Puck in the Magic Kingdom. We have Helena and Demetrius, Hermia and Lysander, Hippolyta and Theseus. And in Act Two, we have what is one of Balanchine's most beautiful creations, the Divertissement Pas de Deux. The dress rehearsal performance you are about to see was filmed last season on April 11th, 2019. It features Laura Tisserand as Titania, 
Kyle Davis as Oberon, Jonathan Peretta as Puck, and Leslie Rausch and Jerome Tisserand in the Divertissement Pas de Deux. The Pacific Northwest Ballet Orchestra is conducted by Emile Decou. I hope you'll enjoy their performance. I also hope you might consider a contribution to the PNB Relief Fund, which will help sustain the company during these months that we're away from the stage. And I can't tell you how much we look forward to be back on stage at McCaw Hall offering you a live performance. For more information, please visit our website at pnb.org. That's pnb.org. But for now, enjoy this performance of George Balanchine's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Thank you. <laughs>